Thank you everyone for coming. My name is Ozzy. Please call me Ozzy. Okay, so first we have uh, what is an abstract? Well, what is too abstract? Types of abstracts, there are many. What is an abstract? We are academics, so we need definition. Uh, the goals of the abstract, the keywords and indexing, the language style or abstracts, the length of the abstract, the structure of the abstract, the common mistakes in the abstract, some exercises. You don't need to write an abstract today, so don't worry. We're just going to look at some abstracts and you're going to put circles. Which part is good, which part is bad. So it's easy. And the basic writing process for the abstract. But this one is easier in English. So if, you're, if you don't have much practice with English, you're going to write like this. How do you learn this one? Read other papers written by Western speakers, by native speakers. Read them and see what words they use, and then work out which words I need to change. Yeah? You'll never see this in a journal paper written by a native speaker. See how. And you'll, you'll very rarely see the word try. Because we don't try to do things in research, we just do them. And then they work or they don't work. But we don't try. So that th this one is authoritative. This one is very weak. If I read that, I wouldn't read the next sentence. I'm done. I'm stopping that author completely already. Okay. I'm gonna we have some exercises later which I want you to, to do because you're gonna learn the most there. So the next few slides I'm gonna go quickly. Okay? But you're gonna get practice with this in the exercise. Structure of the abstract. Uh, follow a standard checklist. Frame your abstract the way your article is written. So the article follow sections. Your abstract also follows sections. Here are the sections. Motivation, so everyone can see. Motivation, problem, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion. So your abstract will also have these sections. But a section in an abstract, just one sentence, maybe two sentences. Motivation. What is the importance of your research? Why would a reader be interested in the larger work? Where is the method? Here, it starts here. A system framework, and this utilizes here. Instant messaging applications as the user interface to look up information and send messages. That's the method. And achieves a time reduction of 50. So that's the results. Not much, there's not much discussion here about the results. I don't find much discussion. Uh, that's why the, this, that's why this abstract is short. There's no there's no dis, no discussion. Next is implications. Uh, I don't find any implications at all. So they re, they've got a reduction by 55.8 minutes. And is that good? Do we save lives? Do we save costs? I don't know. Does it mean the government has to start using chatbots? I don't know. They didn't say. It's missing. And I, I thought, oh, that's a badly written abstract. They don't, they don't have the implications. Yeah? What does this mean? Who cares? So I read the paper. The paper doesn't have them either. So that means maybe there's going to be another paper coming later. But the important thing is the abstract matches the paper. Yeah? That's the good thing. So there's still a good abstract for that paper. Using the first sentence of an article as the first line in the abstract. Many, many authors, they go to the introduction, they grab the first sentence, and you copy it to the abstract to save time. Yeah? And it works. It saves time. The problem is, when I read the abstract, and then I go to the paper and I see the sentence is copied, I say, this author is wasting my time because they're making me read the same thing twice. I don't like it. Yeah? I don't want to read the same thing twice. That's the problem with that approach.